Hello everyone. It's only been a little bit more than a week and already Cyclops Level Builder is publishing its first update. Thanks to everyone who provided feedback on things you wanted to see in the editor. Uh, this update gives you two new tools, adds some extra options for existing tools, and fixes a number of smaller issues too. So let's get to the changes. The cylinder tool allows you to quickly create cylinders in your scene. To use it, make sure the cylinder is selected in the toolbar, and then click and drag to lay down your cylinder. If you want to change the number of sides your cylinder has, you can type that in over here. Let's say you want to have an eight-sided cylinder. You can do that to make an octagon. You can also change the number of sides while you're drawing it, just when you're in the height mode. Use the mouse wheel to scroll up or down to give you more or fewer sides. Uh, if you want to create a hollow cylinder, check the tube option, and now when you drag out your cylinder, you will get a second ring. Just uh, click and drag, and now when you drag up for height, you will get that ring. And of course, if you want to uh, uh, have this aligned to an existing face, just click and drag on an, on an existing face, and just like with the block tool, it will be anchored to that face. The stairs tool allows you to quickly lay in a staircase. Let's say this is your scene with uh, just a single block. Well, uh, click on the stairs tool, and then you can click and drag to define the base of your stairs, and then drag up to lay in a staircase. Uh, you can change the direction the stairs are pointing by scrolling with the mouse wheel, and you can change the height of the step by holding down control and using the mouse wheel, and control shift will change the depth of the step. So let's say we want these steps to be uh, one to one. Uh, let's say we're happy uh, with this flight of stairs. Uh, to commit it, all you have to do is click the mouse button and that will automatically turn it into geometry. The editor menu bar has been changed a little bit. You might notice that the uh, duplicate and delete buttons are now missing. Those are now underneath the menu and they're the uh, first and third options here. Uh, in addition, there is now a new cylinder and stairs tool that gives you more options for drawing your shapes. The vertex tool has had an update. Now if you hold on the control key and you click and drag somewhere other than a vertex on the block, that will drag out a new vertex and snap to the grid. This is a great way to add extra geometry to an existing block. A tool properties dock has been added to the docking area. Uh, the point of this dock is to provide settings for different tools so that you can uh, adjust them here and they will affect how the tools work. At the moment, only the cylinders and stairs tools have properties, but uh, when you have them selected, you can edit the values here and that will affect how the tools act when you use them. The materials dock has been adjusted so that you can delete individual materials rather than just a single one of them. So if there's a material you want to remove from the materials palette, just select it and click remove selected and it is now no longer in your palette. Uh, you can also undo this by pressing control Z. And if your mouse is hovering over this window, you can also use the X key to remove the material instead of pressing the remove selected button. The block tool has been updated so that you can now cancel drawing a block just by pressing the right mouse button. Previously you had to press the escape key, uh, which will do the same thing, but uh, this way you have a way to do it that does not require you to use both the keyboard and the mouse. Just right click and the cancel is done. The prism tool has a new way to delete vertices uh, that you decide you don't want when you're in the middle of editing. Let's just say that you're drawing out the base of the vertice and then you decide you don't want this particular vertice anymore. Well, just right click and that will be removed from the selection. And then when you're finished editing your shape, uh, just press enter. And now you can go into height drag mode and drag out your prism. A new merge command has been added to the menu options. Uh, just select every single shape you want to be merged together come up here to menu and select merge selected blocks 
and this will automatically calculate a new block that completely surrounds all of the selected blocks. And that's all for this update. For further updates, you can subscribe to me on YouTube or follow the project on GitHub. If you found this software useful, please consider making a donation to my Ko-fi account or supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps me to keep the lights on. Thanks for watching.